Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 5th of 2021. Well, it is titled Apollo 14 heads for home. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken by the Apollo 14 command module known as Kitty Hawk. And this was after the astronauts had left the surface of the moon and were getting ready to head back to Earth. And we see a portion of the lunar surface here in the foreground. And you can see a very heavily cratered region. And this is actually part of what we'd call the far side of the moon, the part that you can't really see from Earth. So it'd be very hard to be able to see this. You can look from the positioning of the Earth. This would be around the back side. Now when we look off over the horizon there we do see the Earth as a crescent. Now we're used to seeing the moon go through its cycle of phases as it orbits around the Earth. Well, if you were on the moon, you would see the Earth go through the same cycle of phases just in reverse. So when we see the moon as a very the Earth as a very thin crescent, we would see the moon as being very close to being full. And that would be the phase of the moon that someone on Earth would be seeing about this time. And that's when the astronauts landed on the moon was during the phases when the moon the sun was visible uh, to it. So the sun rises and sets on the Earth once a day. But on the moon a day is two week is sorry is a month long. So two weeks of sunlight followed by two weeks of darkness. So the astronauts missions were timed so that they would be there during the lunar day to have the light to be able to see what they were looking for on the moon. Now one different thing about the phases from the moon from the, looking at the Earth from the moon is that you would actually see the moon the, the Earth just hang there in space it would not rise or set so if you were standing on the surface of the moon and you're on the near side of the moon you would see the Earth there staying in one spot going through its cycle of phases. So it would go through things from a crescent through into a, a thicker phase to a quarter to a gibbous phase to a full phase and then back through this phases again. So it would go through that complete cycle of phases but it would do it while remaining at the same point in the sky. So it would never rise or set. And if you were on the far side of the moon, uh, much further away from this point, you would never be able to see the Earth. So from this location, if you were down on the surface of the moon, well, you may have trouble seeing the Earth in the first place. But if you were at a position like this from on the moon, the Earth would just seem to hang there on the horizon and neither rise nor set. It would remain in one position, just going through its cycle of phases. So quite different than what we'd be seeing on Earth looking at the moon. And and that's because the moon has one side locked towards the Earth. One side points towards the Earth all the time. Now this is we are celebrating the 50th anniversary today of the fur of the landing on the moon. Uh, Apollo 14 and on Sunday we will see when Apollo 14 left lunar orbit and headed back towards Earth. So heading from the moon here off to the earth in the distance to return. So that was our picture of the day for February the 5th of 2021. It was titled Apollo 14 heads for home. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.